Welcome back everyone to Heart Renderings. We hope you subscribe and you can hit notifications. I think it's a bell if you want to be notified of when new stories come on. Uh, we're doing them weekly and sometimes more now that we have a bunch of little fairy stories. Those can be found in the children's section. Well, today's um, story is... Um, let's see. It shimmered in the distance. There it is, shimmering. I can barely see it in the distance. The light is almost gossamer in brightness and texture. I'm drawn to it like a wild moth out in the woods. It's blinking and shimmering, and I've never seen anything like it before. Otherworldly, ancient in some way. I keep walking towards it, and it stays there, waiting. It feels as if we're both anticipating something unknown to us. I'm finally up on it, or closer, and I find myself lifting up a branch in the bush to get a better look. Lo and behold, it's a tiny, shivering fairy. I ask to pick her up and she jumps into my hands and starts chattering a hundred miles an hour. Okay, slow down, I say. What's wrong? She says that she's lost. It's never happened before and she can't seem to find her way back home. I asked how I could help and she said, look with your senses and you'll find the door to my house. I asked why she wasn't doing that herself. She said, you silly thing. I've tried and it's not working and I could sense you in the glen. I bet you didn't know you walked into a magical fairy glen. Since you were pulled in here, I thought you'd have a sixth sense about the spirits and my house. I said, okay, I'll try. So I put her on my shoulder and off we went, feeling into the trees. They all felt different. And then I was pulled so strongly to this ancient oak, I could barely make out some symbols on the door. And the fairy, whose name was Lula, started jumping up and down, yelling, yes, yes, this is home. So I opened the door and in she flew, whereupon she invited me in for a cup of tea and cookies to thank me. As soon as I stepped in, all these fairies and elves jumped out and yelled, Happy birthday! Who knew they had planned this all along? How did you know, I said. They said, you come here all the time in the dream time, and you told us but we make you forget just for fun. The end. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care and come back.